Ernie, how many family members are stakeholders in this business at this point? Zero. It's just, just you. Me. I mean, my brother-in-law works for me, and he's a major, major asset to me, but he doesn't have any ownership. Okay. And your sisters and your brother, no equity in this? No. No, my sisters, um, my sisters are married and, you know, have their own life. Their husbands do well. They never really wanted it, but when they were younger, they you know, did stuff for the business, but they don't really have any interest in it. Okay. And your kids? My kids. Huh. My your kids. wife was pregnant when yeah. we... Yeah, so well, your son, well, I'm guessing your son's well, about 10. A lot has happened. I got divorced. Yeah. Okay. okay. I got divorced. That would be my son was born in 2003. Yeah. Right. Um, I got divorced. At, I think it, it went final March 1st. So I, you know, just, it was a two-year ugly, uh -huh. ugly battle. Don't ever get married. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking the to the camera. It. There's your the words camera. of wisdom. So, so I went through a really bad, what I consider a really bad divorce, but I have a great relationship with my kids. Good. And kids have obviously grown up, and I know they're still young, but I mean, are there aspirations for them to be involved? I wanted to. I asked them all the time. Involved? Oh, absolutely. I, I talked to my, when they were really young, when they were like three, four, and five, I'd say, you're going to work with daddy, right? Yep, we'll be there now. Now, if you ask them, they go, well, I don't know. Maybe you, maybe I'll work for you and something else, you know, but I would like it. I would like, I would like my, um, my son and daughter to work for me, although I do have my, I do have a nephew. Who I, uh, who I who I who I'm keeping my eye on. He, uh -huh. He's going to um, uh, BC, yep. majoring in business, good. and uh, he might be a good candidate. I hate hiring people that are more that are less talented than me. Less yeah. talent. I want to hire everybody that's got more talent than me. And that's a rarity, I think. I think a lot of people in in position like yours want to be the smartest guy in the room. Oh or, no, we got a problem if I'm the smartest guy in the room. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just that, yeah, that there's an ego. There's an ego here well, sometimes. Well, you know, and, there are yeah. no keys to success. But if you look at every successful company guy, woman, thing, yeah. that's what happens. You surround yourself with really great people, and that's how you do it. That's how. That's the only way to do it.